Okay, there's the first assignment. Um, graph the equations x equals negative 4. Now, you notice something different. You're looking to use slope y-intercept, but you can't have a slope when you don't have both the x and y variables. So right off to the side here, that y is not here. Okay. Now, when one of the variables is not there, that's known as a constant graph. How do you graph a constant? Well, we're going to make three coordinate points, all x, y. Now, focus on the letter that is there, x. x is negative 4. That means all the x coordinates are plugged in with negative 4. Now, the variable that's not there, that can be whatever you want it to be. Let's just use 1, 2, 3 to keep it simple. Okay, so this is x, this is y, positive, negative, positive, negative. Okay, so x is negative, 4, y is 1, so I go to the middle, negative on x is this way, 1, 2, 3, 4, positive 1 on y is up, so there's your first point. Now go back to when you're doing coordinates, you go back to the middle. Negative 4, 2, you go backwards 4, and then up 2. Then negative 4, 3, you go backwards 4, then up 3, and then you make a straight vertical line. See, that line has an undefined slope because it's not moving forward. Okay. Okay, my next problem, y equals x, y equals 6. So this time x is not there. Okay, so again, three coordinates, just three x, y coordinate points. And again, we talk about the variable that is there. It equals 6. So y is always 6. Now, x, the one not there, we're going to have that be 1, 2, and 3. Okay, so 1, 6. Remember, x y. This is positive, this is negative. y is positive, y is negative. So 1, 6. We go to 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Then 2, 6. So 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Then 3, 6. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, now the line is straight horizontal, straight across. That has a slope of zero. Okay, so we did an assignment earlier, I don't know if you remember it, where sometimes if you had a slope, it would be undefined. Well, that's what an undefined slope looks like, and that's what a slope of zero looks like. Okay, next problem x equals negative 3. So y is not here. So again, that makes it a constant graph. So we talk about the variable that is there. The variable that is there is x. So all the x's are negative 3's. And the y not being there means y can be whatever I want. 1, 2, 3. Okay, so this is x, this side's positive, this side's negative, now on y, this side's positive, this side's negative. So negative 3, 2, negative 1, 2, 3, up, two, up 1. Negative 3, 2, negative 1, 2, 3, up 2. Negative 3, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Make your line, and there you have it. Okay. Okay, the next one y equals 14. X, not here. So we make it's a constant then. Okay, on constant graphs, we make three coordinates. 
and we focus on the letter that is there, which is 14. That's all your, your Y's are always 14. So X not being here means I can put whatever I want, so I'm going to keep it simple with a 1, 2, 3. So X positive here, negative here. Y positive here, negative here. So 1, 14. So 1. Now I can't really count up to 14. So what I do then on the Y is count by 2's. I'm still counting by 1's on the X. Okay, You can still do that, but we'll have the Y by 2's. So 1 on X and 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14 on Y. 2, 14. So forward 2. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 3, 14, 1, 2, 3, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, okay. That is a line that runs straight horizontal with a slope of zero. Arrows on both ends. Okay, pause the video and do numbers 1 and 2, please. Now this packet here is just notes. Graph the equations on the same plane. I want you to make a table please and write down each equation at the top of the table. Y equals one half X minus three. And then I screwed that up. That should not say minus three. That should say plus four. Y equals one half X plus four. I want you to identify Y's by itself so you have your M and your B. So slope is one half, the Y int is minus three. So on the Y, so we're negative three, so it's down this way, negative one, negative two, negative three. And I use my slope, I go forward two, up one. I take a straight edge and make the line as straight as I possibly can. Okay, now let's graph the other one. M, B. So slope is one half. Y int this time is plus four, so plus four is up here. So one, two, three, four. Then you go forward two, up one. So take your straight edge. These lines are parallel. They never cross. Write the word parallel in between them. The reason they are parallel is because the slopes are the same. So slopes are equal. Okay, let's go to another one. Y equals negative 2x plus 4. Y equals negative 2x minus 2. Okay, so Y is all by itself, so I have the M and the B. So slope, Y int. Slope is negative 2 over 1. The y int is plus 4. Slope is negative 2 over 1. And the minus 2, negative 2 is a y-intercept. So on the y, you go positive. So you're going 4 up, 1, 2, 3, 4. Then from there, I go forward 1, down 2. Okay, now I go to negative 2, so 1, 2, and then down 2, forward 1. And again, those lines will never cross, so they are parallel. The reason they are parallel is because the slopes, once again, were equal. Slopes are equal. Now I want to take a look at an example of a parallel equation. 
Bob has six hundred dollars in his account. You'll be sa or Tom has four hundred dollars in his account. You'll be saving fifty dollars per week. Bob has six hundred dollars in his account. He'll be saving fifty dollars per week. Okay, so I want you to make two tables: one for Tom, one for Bob. X Y, X Y. Now weeks would be X, and dollars would be Y on both individuals. Now go zero, one, two. Let's go to three. So Tom starts with four hundred dollars and saving fifty dollars per week means every week he goes up fifty. So four fifty, five hundred, and five fifty. Now you can stop there. Zero, one, two, three. Now Bob, he has six hundred dollars and he's going up by fifty dollars a week. So plus fifty, six fifty, seven hundred, seven fifty. Now I ask a question down below. Will these accounts ever have the same amount of money? No, they won't, because he started at four hundred, he started at six hundred, and they're both increasing by the same amount. So slope is fifty, fifty. Okay? So the answer is no. The reason why is because the slope, 50 in this instance, is the same. Now, here's what you're doing here. Write an equation in slope-intercept form of the line that passes through the given point and is parallel to the graph of the given equation. Okay, our equation we write has to be parallel to y equals 3x plus 2 through 1, 3. Circle the word parallel and put m's are equal, okay? So you're gonna write y equals blank x plus blank. You gotta write that, okay? This is your m, this is your b. Remember, m's the slope, and b's where it crosses the y-axis, the y-intercept. Now, to find your slope when it says parallel, you look at this equation you're given. You make a wall on the y side and make sure the y is by itself. If it is, you know the m and the b, but you cross out the b. Our b is going to be different than what this is, but the m's are equal. So if m is 3 here, m is 3 here. Then y equals m dot x plus b finds our very own b different from the 2. I don't care. I cross that out. So the M is 3. And then the solution, 1, 3, that's your Y. So Y is 3, and then we times by 1. Plus, put the B first. 3 times 1 is 3. And you minus 3 from each side, and that's 0. 0 equals B. Now, that's your answer. This is parallel to this. If I graph these on the same plane, they'd be parallel because the m's are the same. Okay, parallel to y equals negative x minus 2 through 2, negative 2. So y equals space x plus space m, b. So I have to find the m and the b. All right, once again, they talk parallel. So m's are equal. So what's the m to this? Well, if y is by itself, I know the m right away. It's negative 1. Now the b is negative 2, but I don't care about that. Okay, I don't even use that. So negative 1. Negative 1 is your m. Then y equals m times x plus b. Ditch your y, your m, and x. So m is negative 1. And then negative 2 replaces the y and then times 2 to replace the x. Drop your plus, put b, negative 1 times 2 is negative 2. And if I add 2 to both sides, I get 0. 0 equals b. Okay, y equals negative 1x. Put the plus 0, but in a textbook they wouldn't show that. It'd just say y equals negative 1x or negative x. Next one, parallel to y equals negative 3 over 2x plus 6 through 2, negative 1. That's for my line, okay? So 
So to find your slope, you use that word parallel. So in parallel, the m's are equal. So y, m, x, b, you don't need the 6. You don't do anything with that 6. It's just there. So negative 3 over 2, because they have to be the same. Then y equals m times x plus b. The y, the m, and the x are replaced. So the m is negative 3 over 2. Negative 1 replaces the y. And then 2 replaces the x. B. So we go on a calculator. We take negative 3 ABC2 times 2. It's going to be negative 3. And we add 3 to both sides. And we have 2 equals B. So 2Y equals negative 3 over 2 times X plus 2. Okay, now the next one I got my work cut out for me. Y equals blank X plus blank M. B. So M, B. So M is the slope, B is the Y end. Remember, parallel means, okay, I didn't write parallel, I forgot, okay. It means that M's are equal, but we have a little problem here. You don't have your M. Now, why don't we have the M? Well, we don't have the M because the Y is not by itself. So you're going to come, that's why I wrote this down here for you. I'm going to put a multiplication sign on your Y. Make sure it's positive. If it is, put a check mark and you get rid of the 6X by minusing it. And you make a 0X so you have a place to minus 6X. And then you have 2 times Y. 0 minus 6 is negative 6 and then plus 10. Then I divide by 2. Negative 3x plus 5. Now I have the m and the b, although I don't care about the b. Remember the m's are equal and now I've saw I found the m to that equation. It's negative 3. Okay, then b, y equals m times x plus b. Okay, so the M is negative 3, and this is what I'll put in for X and Y. So negative 7 is X, negative 2 is Y. Put the B in front, negative 3 times negative 2 is 6, then you minus 6 from both sides. Negative 7 minus 6 is negative 13, okay? And there you have it. Okay, now that's how parallel equations work. This is going to be different, okay? Graph them on the same plane. Y equals negative one-half X plus four, and Y equals two X minus two. So, M, B, M, B. You know M and B right away when the Y is by itself. That's why you make that wall. Okay, so slope is negative 1 over 2, and plus 4 is the Y-intercept. 2 over 1 is my slope, and then negative 2 is the Y-intercept. So let's, they're not going to be parallel because the slopes are not equal, but they are going to do something else. So plus 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. And from there you go forward two, down one. <clears throat> okay, then negative two. From there you go forward one to up two. What these lines form, now if yours isn't completely perfect, that's all right, okay? What the lines form is a 90 degree angle, okay? 
So put a, if you took a protractor and measure, it's 90 degrees. Those are called perpendicular lines. Perpendicular. Now the reason they are perpendicular is because compare them. Negative. Compare the slopes. The slopes are flipped. It's known as reciprocals. They're flipped, and they're opposite sides. Flipped and opposite. Now we're going to look at another one. Y equals 2 thirds X minus 1. Y equals negative 3 halves X plus 2. So Y equals 2 thirds X plus 1. Y equals negative 3 over 2 X plus 2. So you know MB on both of them. Okay. So slope is your m, that's 2 over 3, and the y in it is plus 1. Slope here, negative 3 over 2, with a y-intercept of plus 2. So I go to plus 1, and I go forward 3, up 2. Up 2, forward 3. Up 2, forward 3. Okay, then I take my ruler, my straight edge, whatever I'm using, and make a line that goes straight through, okay, points. Because not only are those three points part of the equation, so are all these other continuous points. Then plus two. From there, I'm going forward two, down three. And again, the lines, even though, of course, I don't have a protractor to measure it, form a 90 degree angle. So put 90 degrees. Now, that's again, that's known as perpendicular, not parallel. The reason why is because you have 2 thirds and negative 3 over 2. The slopes are flipped, and they're the opposite side. So now when I turn the page over, you got to know first how to find a reciprocal, make it opposite. To find a reciprocal, you make it a fraction and then flip it. Now make it opposite. That was positive, so opposite would be negative. This is just a skill you have to develop. Flip the fraction to 5 over 3. That was positive. Make it negative. Flip that to 6 over 5. That was negative, so we make ours positive. Put a 1 under it, flip it to 1 over 6, theirs is negative, mine is positive. Okay. Now we're going to write some perpendicular equations, and that's the end. Write an equation in slope intercept form that passes through the given point and is perpendicular to the given equation. So we're going to set up the same way y equals blank x plus blank. I need to see that. You're not, guys, b ain't the answer. The equation itself is the answer. b is part of the answer, but mb. So when they're throwing that term perpendicular at me, the, the M's are not equal. The M's are flipped and made opposite. So what's the M here? Well, the Y is by itself, so I know my M, B. Don't care about the B. Now, to flip a whole number, you put a 1 under it, and you flip it to 1 third. And, there, and I have to do opposite. We have negative here, so mine has to be positive, so mine would be 1 third. That B, Y equals M times X plus B. Okay, so the M is one third. And then this is X, this is Y. So 2 goes in for Y and then negative 6 for X. Put B first in that equation. And then one third times negative 6 is negative 2. Now you add a 2 to both sides and 4 equals B. So there's your answer. Y equals one third X plus 4. Perpendicular to y equals 1 half x minus 1 through negative 2, 3. So m is the slope and b is the y-intercept. 
once again, perpendicular means the M's are not equal like they are with parallel. They're flipped and made opposite. Okay, so you know your M, you know your B, but we don't care about the B. So how do you flip 1 over 2? Well, 2 over 1. And if that's positive, well, ours needs to be negative. If you have a 1 on the, on the bottom, if you have a 1, it's got to be a 1 and it has to be on bottom, you can get rid of it and just put negative 2 up there. And Y equals M times X plus B. So M negative 2. Okay, so 3 replaces the y, and then negative 2 replaces the x. So you got 3, put your plus, and that's 4. Subtract 4 from each side, and negative 1 equals b. Okay, and there's my equation. Okay, perpendicular to y equals 5x plus 4 through negative 10, 3. So, remember, perpendicular, M, you put flip and make opposite, okay? So do we have our M in this equation? Yes, we do. M and B. I don't care about B. So 5 over 1, flip it to 1 over 5, and it's positive, so we make ours negative. Then the Y-intercept, Y equals M times X plus B. So M, negative one-fifth. Then 3 replaces Y, and then negative 10 replaces X. Put B plus. Negative one-fifth times negative 10 is 2. Okay, now we solve for your B. Minus 2, 1 equals B. Now in our last problem, kind of like the parallel. The last problem is kind of a bear. Y equals blank X plus blank. So M, B. Remember, the M, you have to flip and make it opposite. It's not equal like it was on parallel. You have a little problem. Your Y is not by itself, so you don't have your M. So just copy that equation down here. And we're going to go to work. Okay, so the y is multiplied by a negative, so we can't check it. Okay, we have to make the equation opposite. So if I put a 1, I go negative, positive, negative. Then you add 1x, you make a 0x, so you have a place to add 1x. 0 plus 1 is 1, plus negative 4. And divide everything by 2. 1 divided by 2 is a decimal, so you keep that as 1 half, and then that's negative 2. Now you have your M and your B, but you need to flip the M to 2 over 1, and then make it opposite by making it it's positive here, so it's negative here. Remember, when you have a 1 on the bottom, you don't have to put it, it's just negative 2. And y equals m times x plus b. So your m is negative 2. And then negative 6 is your y. And then 1 is your x. That's negative 2. And you add 2 to both sides, and negative 4 equals b. That's your answer, y equals negative 2x plus negative 4.